What we've just done, we've moved, we've moved from playing single string. So let me do it on. The, let me do this on the diagram because I've got a bit on the video already. So you've got. If I take that out, so, so what we've just done is a home middle string. I'm hoping this is picking up. But oh yeah, uh, so and then we've got. Then when we go to D, we played we played the open string there. Back to home. When we drop to me, we play the open string. Fine, all well and good, right? So we just now instead of playing a single single string for A, what we've done is we've added our finger there. That's on the video because it's the dark movement. On your song sheet in the top right hand corner, you've got these these two note forms, and they, it says A five, E five, D five. And that fingering for A5 is what I've just put on the board. But the trick is, is what you do is you, you navigate this sequence via the open string. This just drags along. It's like, in order to know where you're changing, you need to move the, the open string to the correct place as dictated by the contour. That, those, it's like walking a dog. It's like that just drags along with it. So on the diagram, if you, can ju you can just see on the sheet... It's the same shape, it's the same relationship. D5, all that happens with D5 is that it, it goes from here. This goes to open, open D string, but now you've got your, your finger and his fingers blocking the D string, but that doesn't matter because the dog's just going to walk to heel instead of tripping you over, and it's going to go to there. So it's the same, exactly the same shape and form as it was there, it's just moved across the string. And then when we go to we we'll go back to home, but I'm not going to put that in. But when we go, so that's fingers there, and that's open. So we go into E. You open that up by picking, starting to pick the bottom string, and your index finger has to drop all the way down to here. There's a song form that uses that does that, but we won't. We're not touching on it. It's a bit more tricky to play. So, but what I want you to the, the two things is when you look at the diagram, because there's things on the sheets. Is you should hopefully you just want an instant fix. You don't need to have to fathom the diagrams out. That shape, when it's placed there, the open string for E is, is whenever you play E, and the dog just comes along with it. When you go back to A, you go back to A and the dog stops, moves across with it, so it stays there, and then when you go to D, it just does that. Hopefully that's clear, a lot clearer about what you're supposed to do. You can see how, if you don't do a little bit of stuff in between sessions, they're only very simple things, but every one takes time because you, you're teaching your body. It's like learning to throw a javelin or, I don't know why I picked that, or, you know, <laughs> learn to juggle or something. You know, it's, it's things, it's body, mo body movement that you have to ingrain in your body. The, you can't think it. You can't think your body to do it. It requires repetition because, and on top of that, only you're making your body do these things, but you, it has to, be, every time you do it, the sound that hits your ear has to be consistent so that, the, the, the body movement relates to a sound. That's what your job is.